proud of my dog, man. So we all want to know y'all so good, man. be a day or two late on this video so y'all better you know what i'm saying still f this video just because i'm reacting to it goddamn what's going on good on family it's your boy kiko dumb yes i'm back with another reaction man i'm back on that dumb shit you feel me look bro if you're new to the channel please make sure you hit the sub button it's free you don't gotta pay for the sub button i'll hit the sub button right now make sure you like the video and turn on post notifications i upload every single day and you can also follow me on every social media link that's in the description below man and in today's video well we got two in one to be honest we got two in one video we've been react to Noir versus Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson. Both these niggas are, are like both of my, you know what I'm saying, two favorite artists. I think I said they're wrong, but Y'all get what I'm trying to say. We about to go ahead and jump right into this video, man. We finna react to the Destroy Lonely one first. To all my new viewers, when I hit the play button, hit the sub button, bro. Hit the sub button, please. How old is Noah War, bruh? That's what I wanna know. This man been doing this for a minute. One of the best interviewers, by the way. Doop, 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 doop. Teeth, okay. Only welcome to Coachella. What's up, man? And Lone YBS. Who is beside you right now, our brother Ken Carson. Ken. Hello, Ken. What's up, Nar? We're gonna talk to you a bit later. Yep. And right now we have to start. Nah, Ken is fried. That nigga's fried. And right off the bat, I have a gift for you right here on my bloody Valentine oh, it's LP. It's hard. It's the first one I ever listened to. What can you say about my bloody Valentine? Yeah, bro, I really like that music. Uh, somebody that means a lot to me, uh, they showed me their music like a couple years ago. So, <laughs> and that is a gift for you. This man, bloody kid. Valentine LP. Yeah, you. That's a gift for you. Bro, thank you. Hey, hold this to it. Thank okay. you, so, bro. Thank you. That's that's why I fuck with that. What's the so. fuck? Oh, it's, it ain't Twiddly. like that. It ain't like that throughout the whole video. Cookout at Mike's house where you met Jesus. <laughs> Who the hell is Mike? No. Do you know Mike? Mike. Who the hell is Mike? Bruh, oh, I ain't gonna lie, bruh. Sometimes I be feeling like Narwhal the, the f feds, bruh. Because how the f he be knowing all this damn information? Mike. Yeah, thank for real. Yeah, actually, I have But that ain't how my shit started, though. That's how I met my twin from back then. But, nah, that ain't how it went. But I, that's, that's the moment, though, for sure. What was that moment like? I can feel the shit, aura. That was just a part of my life. That's what I met. My brother at the time, he's that's still my brother too. But that's why I met him, and that's when like shit started rolling off for me, like making music. They gave me my laptop, all that shit. So yeah, that way that way shit started kicking off. So Nisa's a punk rapper and a punk. He he going. That's my brother. He going crazy. So thank you, Mr. Burns. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no. Yeah. And then why I like watching Noir, bro, because he be like, this man be, he just be saying stuff out the blue, or he'll ask a question about something, and the um the celebrity or whatever, they get like mad, like you feel me? Hey, Not mad, uh, but yo, shout out Mr. Burns, that's my uh, that's my piano teacher from high school. Yo, what the fuck? Like, how did he know this stuff, bro? <laughs> Yeah, bro, shout out Mr. Burns, bro. I used to skip class and go to his class every fucking day. <laughs> and make music, bro. That's hard. That's it's pretty cool. Piano. 
Yeah, bro, but it wasn't even about the piano class. I wasn't in there doing the class. He just knew I would like to make music, so he'll let me skip. And, like, it was a studio in school, so he'll let me skip and act like I'm in his class and go record music in the studio. And that's why I fuck with him, because he just, he let me rap all day. You were all listening to Damn. science fairs? Wait, he what? Me, he let me rap all day. You were all listening to science fairs? Look at Kid, bro. <laughs> bro, Lone don't even look like the type to be in no damn nothing about no damn signs, bro. <laughs> Shit, if looks could kill. Yeah, bro, I do a lot of different things, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> This man can't. Hey, bro, shit, though. I want every science fair I ever did in first place. No bet. Hey, you. That's crazy. Yeah, Slay, hey, you that my friend right there. That's very science ish. Yeah. Yeah, my first rap name was Slim AU. That shit meant like gold. That shit look corny as fuck, bro. What are you doing right now? Yeah. <laughs> you are destroyed lonely. <laughs> I like that name. Slim AU. That was my name. That's crazy. Like Quote. Little Tundra, he gonna yeah, stay. Yeah, Little Tundra. That's one of my bars, but I got. Cold VVS. Yep, called Valentine. What the fuck? That's the first one. Little Tundra. Yep, Touch Boy Lonely. First name. Touch a Boy Lonely. Ew. Hey, you. Touch a Boy Lonely. Then destroy Lonely. What was Lonely's flexed up slow jams all about? Bro, this old ass tape. Yo, you asking me weird questions like that was shit. What about nothing? That was probably the first tape I ever dropped. Just trying to put music out on SoundCloud. I recorded that shit in school. The name is really funny as hell. Like stuff, slow jail. It's like, I ain't heard that one five. They ain't heard that one five. Cause it don't exist, bro. This nigga crazy. This <laughs> <laughs> when I was like 14, bro. Like, but yeah, that shit ain't nothing, bro. That's different. What was it like pillow fighting at the mall? Bro, that sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, I actually seen that video. I actually seen that shit. This nigga alone was pillow fighting in the mall, bro. That sounds crazy. Don't put it like that. Nigga, I walk through. It's these YouTube niggas. They caught me in my pocket. They said they want to hurt. I'm like, wait. Psh. But don't make it sound like that, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. I have another gift for you right here. Destroy Lonely. A ludicrous 12-inch featuring... Who's on this? Man, you know who I am, man. Miss Influence yeah. 20! Smart for you. And a little fate. Who is your dad? Who's yeah, his dad. Well, what I was curious is Influence 20 versus I 20. What happened there? He was like Influence for a little while. Yeah, so this is my pops. Uh, he just he just dropped the Infamous to I because that shit long as hell. I mean, this rap shit, bro, you gotta have a name, it's fine. But this hard though. I never owned. I never owned. And it's got instrumental on it as well for you to experiment on. Nah, this is it. Shout out this. Your dad also came from battle rap, didn't he? Like, where did he? My pops on that heavy. He really on that rapping shit. But this is different. I like this a lot. I never, I never own one of them. How I does niggas dreads get like that? I had my pops. Uh, his first album. I had got that CD a couple months ago just because I seen it in the store. But this is nice though. And that's a gift for I you. I tried to die my shit. Did your dad call you spank? He wouldn't even, he he um, he wouldn't even let me. <laughs> Wait, what? Did your dad call you Spank? <laughs> spank Lonely. Seriously, <laughs> look. Yeah, so growing up, but how do you know that? You are destroyed Lonely. We have to know. All right, so growing up, my family <laughs> yeah. used to call me Spank. Spanky, because I used to, I was bad as hell. I used to always get whoopings and shit. So that's what my pops used to call me. He used to call me Spanky. spanky. But your mom was pretty spank. cool, like taking you to Little Wayne. That's amazing. Yeah, well, my, my mom... I love my mom for what she did, like, with me and music. Like, when I started doing shows and shit, she was driving me around to all my shows. My first concert, like, literally, first and last concert I ever went to. After this, I went and was doing my own shit. She took me to go see Drake versus Lil Wayne, and that shit changed my whole. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm finna do what these nigga doing. So it was like, yeah, shout out to mom for that. That was fire. I was wondering, what exactly Matt is going on three. in this picture Matt right here? Matt Payne 3. Yeah. So this is me, uh, actually. I had to be like probably like 10. Mass Paint 3 just came out. It's one of the best shooter games of all time. I wanted this shit so bad. My pops went to me go get that shit. He took a picture of me. He put this shit on his Twitter. It's been there for probably like 12 years. People started finding this shit. But yeah, this is where I used Bro, to. Bro, I like. hate when my, you know what I'm saying, my folks have embarrassing pictures up there on Facebook and shit. Like, why can't y'all just delete that shit, bruh? 
Like, they got younger pictures of me, like, like old ass pictures of me when I was younger, bro. I was a child, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was young, nigga. This me now. How hard was it to play that game please with a shooting that. game? Nothing. If y'all see this, yeah, please like, delete them old ass pictures. This is me, I, I play games. But, like, you were into reprogramming Xboxes and stuff like that. Just to take the controllers. Yo, why do you know this? Yeah. Who's telling you this shit? Bro, I used to take the controllers, bro. I used to take the Xbox controllers and model myself, bro. I used to take them. Yeah, right. Nah, this nigga was a geek. What the fuck? Uh, How the I hell you do that? I ain't do what you was saying. Like, I ain't even want to do nothing with the Xboxes, but I, I used to do the shit. I used to take the controllers and super up myself and shit. That's crazy. You know that. That's crazy. Well, you are destroyed lonely. We have to know. I guess. <laughs> and speaking of video games, etc., I have a gift for you. The Fortnite soundtrack for you to sample, possibly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fortnite kind of true, though. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> too hot, bro. Hey, all right, look. So since you put me on blast, because I, uh, it's you know. the vinyl is cool. Like Yellow. It. I like right. Fortnite. It's one of my favorite games. None of my fans can't see me in none of this shit. This shit, Trump, I probably would never give this a play ever, but thank you. But For possible sample, though, and a poster as well. I think I'm going to keep it. A wall hanger, a good wall hanger. I look, I'm going to keep it in the pack, and I'm going to use it as, like you said, art. I like how I look. But I play Fortnite a lot, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody want to smoke on this with me. I ain't going to lie. Quote, what a bad teammate you are. I know what he's talking about. I know what he's talking about. What was I doing on there? Eight people were watching. What's going on there? I was I was geeking out as a kid. Yeah. Video games, online, being stupid. And I wish that video was never over. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really cool, like using a periscope. Not a lot of people, you, now it's really easy. Yeah, man, you put shit on the net, this shit don't ever go nowhere. <laughs> That's the easiest thing ever <laughs> But uh, You previewed Bane for like 64 people? No, four people. It was only four people. But what was the reaction though? All four people said it was hard, so I like, shit, I'm finna drop it. And that shit was hard. Motherfuckers, man. <laughs> what were shows on the east side like? Me, when I was younger in Atlanta? That shit, I never performed in the east, on the east side. For I performed in the city, and that shit was different. It was like Atlanta used to have like this little, uh, it was like a little scene or whatever, and they used to have like these little parties and these little shows and shit. And I was like, I was trying to do shit, so I used to perform. I probably did like a good ten of them. There's like twelve people in there, maybe fifty, maybe a hundred. But I did them like a couple times, and I was like, fuck that. I want to do real shit, and I just kind of quit doing that shit until I was able to actually be on real stages and shit. It's crazy how and artists I go up. To give you a gift to welcome you to the land of Gotham, Coachella, a Batman wrecker. This nigga hates Batman. <laughs> yeah. You like Batman? I do like Batman a little bit. I thought it's also good for a wall hanger, isn't it? Like to hang on the wall for artwork. You're giving me a lot of five looking things. I'm into like how things look, but this this is hard though. What year is this from? That is from 1966. Damn, originally like Damn. original original from 1966. It's fine. Where do you find shit like this? Uh, that record I think I found at Beat Street Records in Vancouver, Canada. Nice. I appreciate that. Well, only the best for destroy. Only at Coachella. Yeah. Scary Godmother. Favorite Halloween movie of all motherfucking time, nigga. What the fuck? See, now you strike it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie right there. Great movie, scary bro. Cartoon Network. Yes. Cartoon Network. Yes. Bro. yes. That, I like Tell me more about the Scary Godmother. Yeah, they're my favorite. I like one and two. They don't even come on no more. You probably ask my about it. Probably don't even know about that shit. But I used to love that shit so much, bro. I had my grandma. She used to be able to do this shit. Like, you could record shit on the TV and put it on a DVD. I had my grandma make a DVD. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's my favorite Halloween movie all the time. Possible sample down the line? I guess so, Narwar. You want me to sample a lot of shit, so yeah. <laughs> Well, I have another gift for you, right here for you to sample. Napoleon, Napoleon Dynamite. Dynamite. Some breaks. Check out, they're all breaks. Nah, twins, they got excited in here. <laughs> this is my favorite movie on Earth. Yo, what the fuck? Nah, see, I can fuck with this. I'd probably play this just because I haven't seen this movie a million times, and I know I like the little... <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite part of Napoleon Dynamite? 
It's, uh, he's sitting in the classroom, I think, or he had the lunch table. I haven't seen him in a minute. He pulled the tires out of his pocket. They're like, Napoleon, he's going to throw the tires. Eat him, you're like, gosh. What the fuck? I'm like, bro, I've probably seen this movie many times. My, uh, somebody else who I care about a lot, they got me a birthday gift. It was like, it was like a special edition of the DVD. It was like furry, and it was like, like tiger print or whatever, but I still got that shit in the wrapper to this day. I love this movie. It's shit at my house. You can sample that one as well. That's a gift for you. For sure. <laughs> he wanted to sample that. Is, is it really like 150 songs per month you write? Quite a few songs you write per month. That's my boy. I just got out here in LA a month ago asking about me songs I do. Uh, probably about 200 now. Damn. Wow. That's a lot of lyrics. Five. What do you do when you record so many? Like, what sort of mindset? Like, I want to do five tonight. How does it work out? I don't count, and I don't care. I just, I like working. Me and my brother, we just sit in the studio. That's where we live at. When I get off stage, we're going to go to the studio. Well, I got I got my shit set up in the house right now. But that's how we got here. That's how we're going to leave here. That's what we doing 24-7. Nothing else. Tight, MF see? Doom. Crazy. I like MF Doom. MF like, Doom I'm is hard. Like I walked in for the win, this burger spot, put y'all down on blast because it's already on blast. I walked in there and it's playing Mep Doom just in my head. I go to the bathroom, I'm like, damn, that shit, chump. I fuck with Mep Doom, chump. Here's a gift for you from Vancouver, Canada to bring back some smoke, an original Cheech and Chong record with some. <laughs> nah, he just got excited as hell. What the fuck? With some. <laughs> This overly true. This is hard. This fun. I'm hang. I'm hang. <laughs> I'm hang. I'm hang. <laughs> so that's for you. You who's afterwards. So you can roll up in this. Yeah. Damn. This is a crazy vibe. From 19. Yeah, yeah, we got to. We got 1972. Damn. <laughs> what? Five, five, five. That's the same word. Hey, look though. Tommy Chong, originally from Edmonton. I like uh, Canada people. Y'all make good music. And you do good things with your YouTube. Shout out, Canada. I really appreciate that. So this is a gift for you to indulge in afterwards. I, you know, we about to smoke the fuck out of this, man. Yeah. Yeah. They should say big damn boo. Hey, hey, it's like that with that. What the fuck? That's fine. That's fine. And, and also, I was curious. Oh, what is my going? God. Long, what the hell? In this photo right here, these are my eyes. Right, so, look, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. Then, my brother Hedge, I still be with this nigga every day to this day. This nigga got a new name, LD. This this nigga named Brandon. This is my this is my brother right here, though. I love this nigga to death. But we was just, we was fiving, bro. Like, can't say who the fuck, who the fuck we thought we was, bro. Man, nah, I fuck with these niggas, though. I see you with the arm. What do you mean, the Stan Smith and Adidas? And on the back, this is incredible. What's going on here? This is incredible. My brother, Danny. Yeah, he out there. Uh, I used to sleep on his couch every time I used to come to LA. And he was making clothes and shit, so he gave me an opportunity to model for his clothes. And he took it and he put it right here. And this is my first time ever modeling. And since this little small shit that I did for my brother, I done did a lot of big shit. This was just like, I guess, like a little light manifestation. But shout out to him. He's still here to this day. He out there. I love that nigga. I think it's great that you shout out Fifty to Westwood. Where? In a song. <laughs> I like Vivian. Like, now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, but she did a lot for fashion and swag. She and Ken talks about Stella in Veteran. You shout out Stella McCartney. Yep, I love Stella McCartney. Like, I love that. Like, Stella, Vivian, that's amazing. We really big on what we do. I know we might seem like we having fun, and that, 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 but we, we got a lot of knowledge on a lot of things. But we, yeah. we really do this. When did you first hear of Ken? I didn't first hear of Ken. See, everything, everybody that's around me, I met in real life. It wasn't a hearing of Ken Carson. Me and Ken, we from the same place. We from Atlanta. But Tyson. when I met my brother, I was actually in L.A. And we was outside. At, uh, I forgot where we was at. It was some other niggas performing. Me and Ken, they had no, no music at the time. But it was some, some other niggas performing. And we was, out, we was outside. We was the only niggas from Atlanta. I said, what's up to him? He said, what's up to me? And then I got his info or whatever. And then once I got back home... Him, already nigga, the, the Ophiel nigga crazy now. I don't yeah. know how the fuck. I was in my room one day, nigga, caught my phone. He like, where you at? Pull up. I don't even know how the nigga got my number. But I pulled up on him and I was with him ever since. Every day, it's probably like four years ago, going on five years now. But Damn, they been doing I met in real life. I met Ken in real life. my real brother. I met him in LA. 
And what about Loan? When did you first encounter Loan, even not music? It's crazy because my friends knew his music before me, but I knew him before them. Was it me and Kim was friends? It wasn't about no music, and he was he was hanging out with my best friend. Yeah, I, I was hanging with Cam. Like I was hanging with Cam. Hell, he was coming with Cam. Type shit. Like, Damn. Before we ever was even making songs together, none. We was just smoking weed, watching other niggas perform. And like eighty eight would be making beats. Like we don't even have a microphone. We just right there, like making beats, vibing. And we, it hit. That's when we was sending that shit. We was sending that shit to bro. Nah, nope. Ken and Lone is like. Today's Playboy Cardi, like Lone is Playboy Cardi, and Ken is Uzi type shit. Them the vibes was, I get was, from we, them. It was this little apartment in Atlanta, one of his homies house. We all used to just sit up in there and talk about this shit. I bet. Have you ever been to the Coke plant in Atlanta? The Coke Coca Cola. That sounds crazy, but the Coca Cola factory, the big place, yeah, for sure. Coke plant. Coke, Coke plant. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was just, I was just in there. With, Right, yeah, for sure. What's Ludacris' restaurant like, Bear and Chicken at the airport? Well, I never ate that. Uh, my fault, uh, but hell uh, no. Nah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my fault, uh. What about Ken? What's this called? Look, it's called Bear and Chicken. Yeah. You said it's at the airport? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check it out. Now, though. Where Terminal that said? I'm not sure. Luda, you gotta get on your shit. Uh. We need to go, aren't you? So we supposed to have free motherfucking beer and chicken. Yeah. So this is a spin out. What about Two Chains restaurant? Doesn't Two Chains have restaurant? I have not been to his restaurant either. I live in my own world, but I fuck with the Unks for sure. What about the Chinese trap museum? The Unks is garbage. What the hell? No offense to tip. I'm just saying we don't go places like that. I go to T.I. Studio. Shout out that way too. Yeah. Well, we can't drop the studio, but we be out in the studio for sure. Walter. I've been to the Trap Museum. I actually fuck with it. I like it. Clothing. The legendary Walter's clothing. I walked in Watson's and got me some voices. Yeah. What's that like? What's the clothing scene like there? Yeah, it's just legendary. Walter's ain't like no clothing store. It's just, it's just Central Atlanta. It's been there forever. You go in there and get whatever you need. Excuse me. Whatever you need. Like, tank top, shoe, tin, forces. Like, quick. Like, I mean, now it's probably a little bit more souped up. I ain't been there in a minute, but just like a central story that's been there for a long time. Some historical shit. I think it's great you did the song of Pink Pantheris. Shout out her. I fuck with her. Shout out Pink, man. If you seeing this, I fuck with you. That's the way for sure. Quote, Goonies never say die. die. And lastly, I have a gift that? for you. An original Goonies pin. Yo, I love the Goonies. From 1985. Damn. This is mad, this is mad randomly. Uh, this nigga be going thrifting, thrifting. Thrifted. It's like one of the first movies. Like, you know, when you watch movies, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, first movie, you can, like, remember, like, like watching. Like, it's one of the first movies. Like, I was like, oh, damn, this is a cool movie. Big, ugly motherfucker. But, yeah, my grandma showed me this. Shout out, shout out to Goonies. It's fine. Like, watching movies sting up late. You hate people that sleep in late past 10 a.m., don't you? Man, we some early birds, man. We might wake up 6 a.m., go to sleep 4 a.m. Still get up early. I'm on the phone with this nigga clockwork every day, and then we can start the day. I hate all that sleep shit. Oh, hell no. Nah. I, I need my sleep. Hell no. Nah. Man, I could overload on any, whatever. I'm still up early in the morning ready to get that pay. That's how I do it. That's how we do it. Tight shit. Thank Tight you, shit. Destroy Lonely, for the shout out on Montreality. You shouted me out. I do remember that. Yeah. That's crazy. When did you first hear me? Just curious. I ain't gonna lie, keep me 100. Nigga, this life. I've been watching you forever. We've been trying. The same spot we met at, we used to just be watching interviews and, and performances. All this you, Rolling Lives, all this shit, like, me and Twins, shit right there. But we, I ain't gonna lie, we really giving these fucks. Man, I'm gonna keep 100. Y'all be like, is this real friends, or whatever? Bro, but this nigga used to sit on the couch with this nigga back there and watch everybody perform and be like, bro. One day we gonna be doing the same shit, right? We just damn like manifest age. Right? They're prior and now we doing it. Everybody else can do it too. I bought you know, with you. Two thousand twenty-four. Yes, sir. Destroy lonely. Anything else to add to the people out there, though? Man, mm. y'all stay fire. I fire you fire. We fire. Double up. Why should people care about destroy lonely? Why should people care? <laughs> shit, bro. Cause, cause I care about it. I care about people, man. I care about the world. I care about my twins. I care about everything. We bring positivity. We bring mm. good music, bro. We doing this shit the right way. I feel like, I feel like now we in a place where a lot of people don't give a fuck, but we still give a fuck, and we still want everything to be right, sound right. 
be pushed the right way, feel good, and that's what we on. So that's why you should give a fuck about me, my campaign, my twin campaign, this opium shit, everything we doing. It's authentic, it's real. Time well, thanks so much, time Destroy scene. Lonely. Keep on rocking in the free world and do, hey. do, 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 do. do. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we ain't, we ain't. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Why, bro? This man love doing that shit, bro. What the hell? He gon' he gonna tie it around. He what he gonna do? He gonna put it on the mic? Oh he Oh, I thought he was gonna Okay. Oh he's covering his Oh he Oh Okay, W Man's by Ken Car Alright, yeah. Yeah. Nah, they, <laughs> they hard, they hard for that. Yeah, yeah. All right, bro. Um, we finna watch Ken Carson now. All right, bro. We on the Ken Carson video now. Let's go. I would have made this two separate videos, but nah. Hi. Ain't no Star point. The human serviette saying, "Hey, it's Coachella." 2024. Please keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 yeah. that first um destroy lonely interview was that was that was cool. That was cool. That was a cool little interview. Now we got Who are you? Team Carson. Ken Carson, welcome to Coachella. What's up, what's up, Coachella, Ocella? And Ken, who do you have beside what? you right there? Got my boy Long. Long. He got a new one. He calls himself Baby Money. He got the back black merch. Show him, show him what name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Coachella 2024. Right Music. And right off the bat, Ken, I have a gift for you from Oh my god. OJ the Jew Man, Sh bro, Shawty Low RP, Gucci Man, and Soldier. 2009 featuring Gucci Man, Soldier Boy, everybody, Shawty Low, OJ the Jew Man. What can you say about Man? Like, what y'all know about Shawty Low? Low? He's from the area. Mm -hmm. He's from the west side, man. That boy, Shawty Low from BK. I'm sure a lot of people know how that went. What was it like in that era? I'm sure everybody know like, look, <laughs> this ain't very good, but this shit, shit, fire. So, shit rough, just like another hood. Ken Astro. Got Astro boy on it. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? Hey. Ken Astronaut. All right. Ken Astronaut. Hell, bro. <laughs> That's some Twitter shit. That's that my old Twitter, right? That my old Twitter, right? Come on, bro. Why you saying that? <laughs> Me, myself, and Ken. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Pa. No, Pa. And that was my kit name. I had hoes on kit. Ben had my hoes on kit. Bro, oh, kit yeah. used to be that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Ben had my hoes on kit. Yeah, give a bit of context. Uh, me, myself, and Ken. That was my old Instagram. That was my old kit name. And that's just how I felt. Like, and Ken, I was also wondering Bro, what, what exactly book, is going on in this photo that right here. That my boy Dree, man. We had a, we had a game stop. What are you looking I for? I, I ain't even had Xbox at the time. I had the motherfucking, I had the P mo, the P three motherfucking. Yeah. Yeah. I had the PSP. I feel like I everybody trying. went, everybody went PlayStation two, PlayStation three, Xbox three hundred and sixty. And then I went Xbox One. I ain't gonna lie. I I, I love Xbox. Winter Stone, man. I love. I like it's PlayStation though, but Xbox. Max Payne? Oh, bro, I ain't gonna lie. That's one of my favorite movies. Like, I know everybody like the game, but like the movie though, Mark Wahlberg, he went crazy. What about wrestling? WWE? SmackDown vs. Rock. I was playing that shit every day, bro. Like, Facts. faithfully, like how niggas be playing 2K. All that streaming shit, I would have been went up if they had that shit. Smackdown versus Rock, I would have had that shit right up. 
And can I have a gift for you right here? Speaking the of wrestling, wrestling album. Yeah. The wrestling album. Yeah. Yeah, man. From 1985, possibly that you could sample too. Yo, I don't know nobody but this nigga, bro. Vince McMahon. But check out, right. like, it folds out actually. It's a duck, it's a gatefold. Oh. And you can see them in the studio. That's hard. Damn. They, wait, that was, that was recorded in Yeah, that's a record. The Iron been, Sheik. I've probably been in the studio. And, and, ch and check it out, like, check out, like, playing drums and, oh, like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. They no, I'd be having some they they I never, gifts, bro. So everybody got an album, basically. <laughs> basically. Everybody make music, bro, because you be putting me on, bro. I ain't even know y'all niggas was... What, what was the first... What the first week sales? What was the first week sales? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. I think John Cena went platinum or some shit. Yeah. He did a lot of people, you know... I'm favorite rapper. Sorry, that boy John Cena. What do you think about music and wrestling? What do you think about wrestling games? Yeah, that was doing my favorite. I told you, SmackDown vs. Raw, you get on the stage. But playing them, like the difficulty level, you know, a lot of times I've hard times. For me? No, for me, you know, oh. you know, for me, you know, like, it's a, are they kind of hard to play? I kind of find some of the games. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta just, you gotta play all the time. See, I'm sure you part time gaming, it ain't. You can't do that. That's why I don't play the game like that. It's part time, no. What is full time like every day? Bro, for every day, that shit every second, bro. Them gamers be gaming and when if you're not a gamer and you get on the game, like you think you just finna get on the game and just enjoy yourself. Yeah. Fuck no, not in not in twenty twenty four. Cumberland. I ain't gonna lie, it'd be hella tryhards on the game, no. Ma man. Hold on, bro. Did he just say Cumberland Mall? Cumberland Mall, man. Hold on, bro. Cumberland Mall, yo. Yeah. It's in Atlanta. Cumberland Mall, yeah. Thank you, Caleb. I don't know. I know a lot of Caleb, so I don't want to. Early inspiration for you. I don't want to. I don't want to get this wrong, though. I have a gift for you, a Sons of Pioneers record. Damn. And if we turn it over, the Sons of Pioneers, check out who recorded. King Carson, King bro. King Carson. <laughs> bro, bro, they, I remember, I remember King when King I. King Carson. Yes, bro, it's the first one. Yeah. Like the 80s, right? Uh, actually, the That's 60s. That's the first the King 50s. Carson. The harmonica, too. I guess I'm. This used to come up as on Google, bro. Oh, God. He's explaining it, bro. I used to come up as this nigga on Google. Wait, he used to come up as me. You know what? I think I remember that now. Now that I remember, you know, Googling Ken Carson's name, bro. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. For sure. For sure. It did but, used to pop up bro, another bro, Ken Carson. That shit is funny as hell, bro. Shout out Ken Carson, though, bro. But wouldn't it be great if Ken Carson sampled Ken Carson? Ken Carson would they clear it? Well, I Hell think no. maybe Ken Carson has passed away. When they don't clear him, I'm going to say, nah. Oh, no, don't, yeah. don't bring me up. Don't yeah. bring me up. It's coming out of show, but for whatever you are. Uh, it'll be an amazing sample, though. I'm going to say, nah, they're not clearing the sample. What are we going to do? We're going to spend your money. He was a country singer, a cowboy as well in movies. Ken Carson. Vampire, the total opposite. You produced Bino. Mm -hmm. What's it like being a producer? Because, you know, I showed all those producer yeah, records. Bino was hard. Right. That shit fuck with your head as an artist. Don't that song was hard. Choose your... I'm, it's rare. You got rare niggas like Kanye and, like... You got a lot of people who make their own shit. But I feel like, me personally, bro, I'd rather lock in on the recording side, like, being on the mic. Because I feel like, beat, I'm taking up time where I can be on the mic. And I'm also taking the money away hey, from the producers. I'm not getting away with that. Like today, I'll make a beat with a producer and not even, not even, not like even playing, record. Not even made the beat. And you first met or encountered Cardi when you were 12? Yeah. Really? You were in the studio. How did that happen? Southside, Southside, Edway Mafia shit. What was it like being in there, like being in the studio? Like, how did you interact when you were so young? That must have been amazing. You gotta look up a, you gotta look up a 12 year old. Then look up Atlanta, twelve year old, and you'll get the whole shit. Quote: You bought her a bag. I bought her some chips. <laughs> How did you meet Starboy out of town? That's quite amazing. All right, all right. So during the mix of me, like when I was with like Southside and TM88, TM88 already was like they already had people that they fought with, and I just fought with whoever they fought with. 
but out of town, I used to call him. He from both of them from Amsterdam. I mean, I knew out of town first, and I used to call him like four five in the morning, like, bro, I need some beats. Like for like years straight, he knowing like nothing's coming out, but like years straight, asking him that, then he introduced me to Starboy, and then they was start reciprocating the energy. They was like believing in what I was doing, and they was like paying for everything in the beginning of my shit. Shout out to Wild T, I love them. Insane beats, like hyperpop, insane. Yeah, yeah. And Legion from Canada, me and my cup. Yeah, I just talked to Legion the other day. Shout out Legion. Canada, I love this Canada. Canada. Oh, wars. I love Canada. Chris was interviewer, bro. Look at the women. Quote, floor out to the saint, I ain't talking. The wrong. Ooh. I like that, boy. What that is? You I like that, boy. He, he don't what's even. What's song? song? Jennifer's body. Jennifer's body. 99% accurate. Damn. Jennifer's Body is a crazy song, bro. I love that song. 15% body accurate. So I like that. And speaking of Jennifer's Body, I have a gift for you winding up. A DVD, the story of East Bay Punk, executive produced by Green Day. Damn. What song's on you? It's the whole entire story of Green Day and how they came up. Their scene, East Bay Punk Rock. The Blu-ray edition for you, because you love Green Day. You love that whole scene. Look at how you look at it, man. Green Day. Bro, you're a nice person. So that boy Billy reached out. I like that. Narrated by the legend Iggy Pop as well, so it's a DVD for you to watch. What can, what can I play this on, though? I can play this on my PS5? Yeah. Yeah. I'm watching this. Not you should, this. yeah. You know how people be leaving this shit in the rapper for all the cool shit? I'm like the total opposite. I'm I'm using everything that I can. What me up here? What do you think about that meme? Getting a haircut, you and destroy getting a haircut. <laughs> what is this getting a haircut? Like, I don't know what people wanted us to do. How are you supposed to act when you get a haircut? Yeah, hi, nigga. I'm getting a haircut. I, like, we be doing a lot of normal shit, and people would be like, "Yeah." You wore on stage yeah. a Spider-Man backpack. Oh yes, 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 yes. Somebody threw the back bling up. Put it on. That was, I think it was either London or Paris. It was, I think it was Paris. It was definitely Paris. And I have a gift for you. A Spider-Man 7-inch. Yeah, what? From 1974. Yeah. A 7-inch vinyl release. A 7-inch yeah. vinyl. Yeah, clarify. No diddy. Yeah. Bro, Spider-Man, my favorite superhero. Tobey Maguire. You feel me? I ain't got to speak on too much, Sam and speaking of MF Doom, sampled by MF Doom as well Damn. for the Bells of Doom release. Damn. Damn. So that's a gift for you as well. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna sample some of this shit for real, bro. And what was going on nah, here? Nah, this uh, nigga was not out. What the fuck? Damn, nigga, your pants all the way to your damn ankles. I'm gonna tell y'all what was really going on. Remember X Days? X Days, bro. Not X, but if you know, you know. This is literally the prime example. This is Teen X. Teen X, baby. What class? Cooking class was not cooking. I know it's gonna look at the food and shit in the back on the wall. And if we turn it over, this is where it all started, right? Oh, that's fucking crazy. I never noticed this tweet till right now. Y'all boys better meet TM88, man. That's different, bro. Yes, bro, that's crazy. Different as fuck, bro. That's different. And people, motherfucker, be calling me playing shit, man. I met E folks and did my work, my one. Date on it. Yeah, 2015. Damn. What about being on Google? Like Google Maps? Like there's a thing about you guys on Google. That Balenci store. That's crazy. That's oh crazy. yeah, I seen it. That's crazy, bro. That's Could you explain crazy. that? That's Every crazy. It's like real. Like you seen it? Like that was we doing. You see everything we doing in real life? Balenciaga store. Like that wasn't nothing out of the ordinary. But that's pretty wild, isn't it? Somebody discovered you and Google Maps. How did that happen? I'm about to show y'all some crazy though. This is how my brain works. I remember that specific time and date, bro. We was in Germany. We both had just got off the plane, linked up at the store. It's probably like 4 p.m. We just out there vibing it. We couldn't even imagine that niggas like Google car or whatever. But I remember that. That was like probably like last year, same time. Yeah, yeah, it was a year ago. That was a year ago. Damn. Damn. Up here, another gift for you right here. A Rob Zombie Dragula. Uh, Sir, I was waiting. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. If you wanted to go say nothing about Rob Zombie, I probably would have, like, 
I probably would have reported your video, bro. Yeah. As a uh, fraudulent. Yeah, bro. Yes, bro. I really appreciate this. Bro, I mean, you know how he said uh, the like first movie you remember? Y'all remember the fucking the DVD things you could flip up and it was portable? Bro, the first fucking movie like I locked in on, it was like 2008 or 9. Halloween, bro. And that's what just made me start like actually reading the credits of movies and like looking into what's going on in the movies. Halloween. I used to pull up on him and we watched it all of them, every single way, every day. Like, that shit became my favorite movie. Yeah. Watching like 31 and like Halloween. And that's a gift for you, Rob Zombie, the Dragula Funko edition. Yeah. Telling y'all, no, I want to be having a damn. Do my, do my he know what to get. He did a video with Cole Bennett. What was it like getting the camera really close? There was really close camera. Why y'all gotta be paused, bro? Yeah. It ain't even like that. God damn. It ain't how he explained it, bro. He, bro, he was boosting. He was boosting for the show. He was boosting for the show. The camera didn't do nothing crazy. <laughs> what yeah. happened there exactly? Could you explain to the people? Uh, I don't know. I can't. What happened? <laughs> we were shooting the video. Shit, it was fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I love that video. Shout out, Cole. And you were at Grave Digger Mountain recently. Yeah, that's my boy. Shout out, YB. Don't low fucking trick. What sort Damn. of vibe did you get at the Grave Digger Mountain? Like, I have another gift for you. Some SpongeBob. Yeah. Was it a SpongeBob vibe? <laughs> yes, bro. This is my... Bro, to this day... I, okay, so I got YouTube TV, right? And YouTube TV... Got like a lot of fucking Shows. channels. Yeah. And, bro, they got, if you, when I come over from the studio, it's like seven, eight, because I'm in there all night. And yeah. they're playing SpongeBob. Bro, they play SpongeBob all night, bro. I'd be, I wouldn't even be surprised if, as soon as I go home, this episode. I only fuck like, with the old SpongeBob, though. That new SpongeBob, that's, that new SpongeBob, some bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. It's all bullshit. But that's your vibe, the Ken Carson vibe. I was wondering about bringing that vibe to Grave Digger yeah. Mountain. What was the SpongeBob vibe there? Nigga, it wasn't no SpongeBob vibe at Grave Digger Mountain. <laughs> yeah. What? No, I just. But, what? but nah, hell nah. It wasn't no great SpongeBob. Also, what the? It wasn't no motherfucking TV on. We was recording the whole time. Ken, anything else you'd like to add to the people out there at all? Uh, don't let don't let nobody tell you that you that you can't like. Like, Facts. nothing is out of reach, bro. Nothing Facts. is out of sight. Nothing is out of mind, bro. Do whatever the fuck you want to do because you could be the first one to do something or you could be the last one to do it. Why should people care about Ken Carson? Why should people care? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I, I'm, I wouldn't really wouldn't give a shit. Well, thanks so much, Ken Carson. Keep on rocking in the... I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm like, I'm cool, bro. I'll be chilling. I like scary movies. I like SpongeBob. You ain't gotta worry about me unless you got a beautiful girlfriend. So, yeah. You good? If you know how I know how to Why be, why be, why be, why be shit? Why be that shit? Why be game? Double O five. That's that Cardi. Double O four K. You know where I know how to hold. Double O, big double. Well, thanks so much, Ken. Keep on rocking in the free world and do, 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 do. Huh, huh. He talking about, huh, huh. Bro, part two, bro. All right, say what? Part two. He better put the chain on him again, bro. Oh, oh, he got the long shades on, okay. He put the, I don't know if it could fit. Yeah, fuck it. Nah, that was entertaining, bro. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's reaction. I hope y'all enjoyed the goddamn video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. Don't forget to follow me on every social media link that's in the description below. Y'all want more Ken Carson and Destroy Lonely or any like Narwhal interviews, bro, let me know. Send me the video, do whatever. Y'all stay safe. No matter.